Hello everybody! This is guide about Drain Life build in 6.1 patch of World of Warcraft. I will talk about add-ons, items, glyphs and talents. You also need to know that glyphs and talents for 2v2 arena and 3v3 arena is different. And only people who do not understand the demonology warlock can talk about one build for all arenas. Our stats priority is Mastery, then Crit and then Versatility. This is list of items that you need to have for get maximum damage from your Demonology Warlock. I am using PV Ring because it is much better than PvP rings, because PV ring including versatility and mastery, but PvP rings only multi strike, crit and haste. You can also use two handed weapon instead of one handed because there is no big difference. This is my glyphs and talents when I am playing with healer, we see DPS and healer. Harvest life talent and drain life glyphs is very important because it helping me to survive when enemy attacking me, but my healer in CC. For example, when hunter attacking me and my healer will be in 3 Cyclones, Stun and Trap, it's extremely helpful. I'm also using Soul Link Talent and Internal Resolve Glyph, uh, because it's giving me 30% of damage reduction. It is also very important, because if I will have no this Glyph and Talents, somebody like Warrior or Roach can kill me without boosting. I'm also using Grimoire of Supermassy because it giving me faster fury generation and also 25% of heal reduction to enemy. It helped me a lot during uh, long arenas because uh, healer can't heal his target after 8 minutes and it is much more easy to burst and kill enemy when his hit points is not full. I am using Shadow Flame Glyph because extremely helpful with the all melee DPS and also help a little with the healers and ranged DPS. And now you will see how it working. Set up in portals and going to dot pala and warrior I will burst into warrior that is why I am do not using doom into pala because doom can interrupt sub as you can see warrior in roots Warrior boosting into me, but I, my HP is good because I have 30% of damage reduction and I am also self healing. Wow. 
waiting for Trinket proc. Trinket is up, Fearing Pala, Bursting into Warrior, Pala using Trinket, Keep Bursting, Pala using Bubble, Keep Bursting. And this burst is finished. As you can see, I have one charge of Dark Soul. So I can start my next burst when my fury will be full. They both have no trinkets, uh, Pala have no bubble, I think that warrior will be dead. Bursting into warrior. This is not noobs, it is 2200 rate and they are full geared. This is my build for demo lock and healer. When you playing, we see double DPS team. I am tried lots of combinations and find that Howl of Terror is best spell. We see double DPS team because you can fulfill both enemies and you do not need to cast. It is very very helpful. I am also using Grimoire of Service because it giving me additional stun, giving me additional damage when I am using it. I am using Glyph of Imp Swarm instead of Glyph of Internal Resolve because I need faster fuel generation and I also need Internal Resolve if enemy attacking me hard and I need some safe cooldown. Internal Resolve also can help me when I am starting my burst and I am afraid that somebody can kick my cast. I am also using, using Shadow Flame Glyph because it can root enemy into 6 seconds. It is also very helpful. And now you will see how it working. I am always trying to fulfill both targets and also using stun. Clearing targets one by one. Trinket. Trinket. Masphere. Using stun. And preparing for burst. Fearing Feral and Bursting into Roach. Uh, stun from my second pet. It was 2300 team. So they was not noobs. But it was also hard arena for me and my healer. If I will play this arena without my second pet, I think that I will not kill Roach or somebody else in this situation. This 
This is my build for duels. It looking like build we see double DPS teams, but I'm using Mortal Coil. And I'm using Blood Horror. If I'm playing VC melee. You can also can change Glyph of Shadow Flame to Glyph of Hellstone if you're playing VC range and DPS or healer. And if you're playing VC boosty classes like Roach, you can use Dark Bargain instead of Soul Link. This is my add-ons. Add-ons in red is required, all other add-ons is optional. Extra CD showing procs of my trinkets. Gladius showing lots of information on arena. Nameplate countdowns. It's showing cooldowns that was used by enemy and how many time I have before these cooldowns will be restored. Omnibar showing timer on my Gladius frame to diminutions. Plate buffs showing my dots, fears, stuns around the battleground or arena. It is also very useful. Range display. It showing me distance to my enemy. Our attacking spells 40 yards range, but our fear and mortal coil on only 30 yards range. That is why I need to know distance to enemy. Can I cast fear or not? And now about my command boss rotation. I'm starting from Turing Healer, using coil to my target, starting macros, stun, keep casting, two chaos waves, and touch of chaos if enemy is not dead. I will talk about boosting, different boost rotations more in my ne next video. Thank you for watching, hope that this guide will help you. Bye bye!